I'll do a recap after I finish this problem. Just for the recording. All right, so the 76 over sine of 96.5 degrees equal to C over sine of 50 degrees. Multiply both sides by sine of 50 degrees. Sign of 50 degrees cancel on the right. C is equal to 76. Sign of 50 degrees over sign of 96.5 degrees. Which is equal to Flipping it around, 42.2. Uh, Where did you get the sign 50 from? Oh, uh, you know what? It shouldn't be 50, should it? It should be 33.5. Okay. That's I sense. think it, what threw me off is that I didn't have my recording up. <laughs> I, so I got to blame it on something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me change that. Let me make sure I wrote down the right number according to the, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So 33.5. Yep, yeah, so this is 33.5 as well. Thank you for that catch, appreciate it. All right, that should be good. All right, so questions before I do the recap for the recording, any questions? All right, so let me double back. So this section started off with uh, 7.1, sign, law of signs. So capital A, capital B are the measures of our angles. Ca uh, lowercase a, lowercase b, and lowercase c are the lengths of the sides opposite these angles. So if you have those, then that creates the relationship that we have right here, the law of signs. That's lowercase a over sine of capital A is equal to lowercase b over sine of capital B equal to lowercase c over sine of capital C. Those relationships can also be inverted. In other words, you could do sine of capital A over lowercase a equal to sine of capital B over lowercase b, which is also equal to sine of capital C over lowercase c. All right, so the first problem, solve the triangle with capital A being 46 degrees, capital C being 63 degrees and lowercase c being 56 inches. So the missing pieces, capital B, lowercase a, and lowercase b, easiest one to find is capital B because all of the angles of the triangle add up to give us 180. And since we have two angles, add those together, subtract it from 180 or just subtract both of those from 180, which will give us 71 degrees for capital B. From there, I can find lowercase a because I have a full relationship for capital C or uh, with capital C and lowercase c you know right here so we use that relationship that's given so we should use that relationship going forward so that's 56 over sine of 63 degrees equal to a over sine of 46 degrees multiply both sides by sine of 46 degrees a is going to be equal to 45.2 Make sure that your calculator is in degrees when you go about doing these. Then we can use that same relationship of C over sine of C equal to B over sine of B. Um, so set it up properly, substitute your numbers in accordingly. That'll give you B is equal to 56 sine 71 degrees over sine of 63 degrees once you multiply both sides by sine of 71 degrees and that'll give you 59.4 for lowercase b, and that will be your three pieces, your three missing pieces. All right, so the next problem is very similar, it's just that before we were given one full relationship in those c's, we have capital C and lowercase c, and this next one we don't have one initially, we have capital A, which is 50, capital C, which is 33.5, and lowercase b, which is 76. So 
once again, the easiest one to find is capital B. Subtract capital A and capital C from 180 degrees. That'll give us 96.5 for our capital B. From there, we can use lowercase b and capital B to find lowercase a and lowercase c, our sides. And we will follow the same procedure that we did in the previous problem. So that would be 76 over sine of 96.5 equal to A over sine of 50. Multiply both sides by the sine of 50. And then throw 76 sine 50 over sine of 96.5 degrees in your calculator. And that would be 58.6. Use the B relationship to find C as well. So that would be 76 over sine of 96.5 equal to C over sine of 33.5. Multiply both sides by the sine of 33.5. C will be equal to 42.2. All right, so that was for the recording. Let's look at the next few scenarios. Okay, we got the ambiguous. All right, so the ambiguous case, side, side, angle. So SSA, side, side, angle. Uh, consider having sides A, B, and capital A for your angle. Those are given. The result may be, so for scenario one, one triangle. So that occurs when A is greater, lowercase a, or side A is greater than H, that's the height of your triangle, and A is greater than B. All right, so whenever that occurs, you're only going to get one triangle. Scenario two.
All right, second scenario, you could get a right triangle. That's when A is equal to H. H is still going to be B times sine of A. Um, just ran out of room on the right side, but whenever I write H is B times sine of A. All right. All right, scenario three, it's possible to not get a triangle at all. And that can happen if A is not long enough. Well, A is less than H, less than the height. That means it's not long enough to form a triangle. All right, so for scenario four, two triangles could be created. So when A is greater than H and A is less than B, two distinct triangles are formed. All right, any questions before we try a few of these out?
All right, so we're going to solve the triangle. If A is equal to 43 degrees, B is equal to 81, wait, hold up. Capital A is equal to 43 degrees, lowercase a is equal to 81, lowercase b is equal to 62. So writing down our givens. All right, so remember when you're doing these things, um, each angle relationship should reflect the same according to your side relationship. So in other words, if side A is uh, larger than side B, then side, uh, angle A should be larger than angle B and so on. So all of those relationships hold true to each other and they should reflect. So if you were to, uh, let's say in this case, if you were to solve for, for angle B and angle B was larger than angle A, then somewhere we went wrong. And we need to figure it out, all right? So first thing we recognize that we do have a complete ratio uh, as far as the law of signs is concerned when we're looking at um, angle A and side A. We only have one angle, so we can't find any of the other angles. So we'll use side A over sine of A equals side B over sine of B. Uh, as a matter of fact, since I'm looking for angle B, I'm going to flip that. Let's do sine A over lowercase A, sine B over lowercase B. So the sine of 43 degrees over 81 equal to sine of B over 62. Multiply 62 to both sides. 62s will cancel. Leave me with 62 sine of 43 over 81 equal to sine of B. Now I can do sine inverse of both sides. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's see how I want to write this. And I know from. All right, should be able to do that. Sign cancels, leave me with just B, and we should get 31 degrees. All right, 
questions on that? All right. So now we can find lowercase. Hold on, hold on. What are we looking for now? Where well, we can find capital C. That's 180 minus 31 minus 43, right? 43. That's going to be 106. So C is equal to 106 degrees. And now we can find lowercase c. So it's 81 for a sign of 43 equal to C over sine of 106. Multiply both sides by sine of 106. So that's 81 sine of 106 over sine of 43 degrees. And that should be 114.2. questions before we do another one. So next one, solve the triangle of A is equal to 57 degrees. Uh, hold up, wrote down the wrong numbers, looking at the wrong scenario, sorry about that. That's the one above it. I don't want that example, I want this one, 75 degrees. Looking at 75 degrees, 51 is 71. 75, 51, 70. yep, that's it. All right, so this is what we have. Let's go ahead and find B. So we're looking at sine of A over A equal to sine of B over B. It's gonna be sine of 75 degrees over 51 equal to the sine of B over lowercase b. Oh, lowercase b means 71. Multiply both sides by 71. Seventy one on the right of cancel. So 
uh, b is equal to 71 sine of 75. Over 51. All right. So if we were to do this, we would see that this is one point, approximately 1.34. And so what that means for us is that when I do sine inverse of both sides, should get some kind of error message in your calculator. Out of the domain. All right, since that's out of the domain, getting an error message, that means this will actually fit the scenario of no triangle. And if you were to actually draw it out to scale, you would actually see that your A wouldn't connect because it's less than B. And I think the scenario is less than B and less than the height. Well, either way, you would get no triangle in this case. Oh, that has to be between negative one and one for the domain of your sign. All right, questions before we go to the last one like this. All right. All right, so here you want to solve the triangle A is equal to 40, lowercase a is equal to 54, and B, lowercase b is equal to 62. All right, so let's look at finding B first, capital B. So we'll use sine A over lowercase a, sine B over lowercase b. Now we didn't mention um, the check that we can do to ensure whether we have one triangle um, or two triangles. If we go back to our initial uh, introducing of these scenarios you know we had different criteria that were in place using this relationship of your height being equal to b times sine of a so i want to do that in this case if it fits the criteria then it will ensure you what type of triangle you're dealing with so in other words let me go back and shouldn't scroll away from it so in other words, if you find out what your height is, B times sine of A, if A is greater than H and A is greater than B, you know you're only going to get one triangle. If A is equal to H, then you'll get a right angle, right triangle, excuse me. If A is less than H, then you're not going to get a triangle at all. And then this one, which is our last scenario, if A is greater than H, 
but A is less than B, then you should get two different triangles. So let's go ahead and I'll put that test into action. Find an H, which is A. Sign of H. Oh, look, I've got that wrong already. B sign A. Okay, A sign of A. So B sign of A. So B is 62. B sign of 40 degrees. Pull out my calculator. Um, 62. So I'm getting 39.9. All right, so that's the height of the triangle. So we see that A is larger or longer than the height, but then it's smaller than B. And that fit our you see A is greater than H, but A is less than B, so we should get two triangles. It's kind of messy. All right. Questions on how we can use those uh, stipulations in order to uh, know what we should get as we go throughout our process. All right, so let's look at how we will get our two triangles to generate our two triangles. So first thing we do is find B. And that is with my purple. So it's gonna be sine 40 degrees over 54. Equal to sine B over 62. Multiply both sides by that 62. So All right, apply the sine inverse to both sides. So that means B is going to be approximately 48 degrees. All right, so to find the other one that coincides to this, we'll let B1, be that 48 degrees. But if you were to check your unit circle and the relationships and all the good stuff like that, there's a B2 that fits that same criteria. If we were to subtract that 48 from 180, and that will be 132. So we have a B1 and a B2. So that means we're going to have a second set of uh, information. Our uh, capital A, lowercase a, and lowercase b will all be the same. But then we'll have a capital B1, capital C1, and a lowercase c1 that will be the first triangle. Then capital B2, lowercase, uh, lowercase c2, and a capital C2 that fits that second triangle. Uh, right.
So let's find C1. We can do 180 minus 48, which is, well, let me do it like this. Let me write the letters. A minus B1. So it's 180. A was 40 degrees. And then B1 is 48. That should be 92 degrees for C1. And then for C2, that's 180 minus A minus B2. So that's 180 minus 40 minus 132. Should be eight, yep. And that'll be eight degrees for C2. All right, make sure we're okay. Then we can find lowercase c1. All right, lowercase a was 54. So 54 over sine of 40 degrees equal to C1 over sine of 92 degrees. That's our C, uh, capital C1. And then solve the same way we've done in previous problems. That sine of 92 degrees will cancel. Lowercase c1 is going to be 54 sine of 92 degrees over sine of 40 degrees. That would be 84.0 because we're round to the tenths. And then C2 54 sine of 40, C2 sine of 8. Multiply sine of eight degrees to both sides. Cancel. And we got C2 is equal to 54 sine of eight degrees over sine of 40 degrees. That means C2 is going to be equal to 11.7. Those are all of your pieces. All right, questions before we look at this. One last thing, one last thing out of the section and then we'll be good to go. Sorry, I'm having computer problems. I'm saving my questions till the end. <laughs> Not a problem at all.
All right, so the area of an oblique triangle, take one half B times C times sine of A, or one half B, A times B times sine of C, or one half A times C times the sine of B. So you need one of the angles and each of the other sides, each of the other sides. So you have a side angle side relationship. Okay, find the area of a triangle having two sides of length, lengths, 24 meters and 10 meters, and included angle of 62 degrees round to the nearest square meter. So, like I said, the relationship that we have here for these um, formulas, side, angle, side, in other words, you have, like if you look at the first one, A, and then let's see, we call this B and call this C. And so, you know, side A would be over here. So if you're talking about B, C, and A, it's two sides and the included angle. So that's how all of these are set up. You have the angle and the other sides. So they will be included inside that. So it doesn't matter what you call uh, side B or C. When you look at the setup, So basically, because it's all multiplication, as long as you recognize what is your angle and what are your sides, you are still all right. It doesn't matter. So we got 24 in, and then the side, I mean, the, the angle is 62 degrees. So if you throw that in your calculator, that will be approximately 106 meters squared. So your area after you finish calculating will always be in square, your squared measurement. That's because you're multiplying those two sides. Meters times meters will be meters squared. And they tell you to round to the nearest square meter. So that will be one approximately 106 uh, meters squared or square meters. All right. Questions on that problem? All right, questions on anything? Any questions before we close out? How much time you got? Uh, till 2.45. <laughs> I got another class after this. Okay. <laughs> now, if you want to set up a time, uh, for us to meet, we can do that. Um, that well, uh, my 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 first problem. I came in twenty five minutes too late. Ah. So by the time I got in, you were already knee deep. Okay. Gotcha. And I was instantly lost. 
So that's why I hadn't been, you know, you're saying, has anybody got any questions? I'm like, uh, I usually answer just so that you know that we're out here. But <laughs> right, right, right. I, I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. So, my, so my, my, I guess my first question is, uh -huh. when are you going to have this um, recording ready for review so that I can catch up? Um, Because it's you, sir, I'll make that happen tonight. Oh, that'd be great because <laughs> as, 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 as I, as I told you previously, uh -huh. the last, what was it? 5.6 was the last subject. 6.5. 6. 6.5. 6. Yeah, 6. That's 5. where I, last semester, that's where I started to fall off the cliff. Gotcha. And I, I find myself still falling off that cliff. Right, right, right. And this is just even going to be more of an ass kicker. <laughs> um, I guess my other question is, should I concentrate on the quiz? And before class, did you say anything about when the next test is going to be or anything like that? Or I did not. Um, I'll, I can post that tonight as well. I know I posted the review. Um, yeah, you have one of your classmates letting you know uh, in the chat that you're yeah, not alone. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see it. I see it. It's like, yeah, I, I got to say something because like I said last semester, before the mm -hmm. world went south and the classes all went put online real quick. Right. I mean, it was about two weeks on the online classes. And then I just told the instructor, I said, I'm done. I'm tapping out. I can't, yeah. I can't do it. Gotcha. So I kind of find myself in the same predicament, mm -hmm. but I think I'm a little bit better off, but I'm still not hundred percent confident. Gotcha. Gotcha. So this is what we can do. Um, now that next test i'll go ahead and post that tonight i know i posted the review so you guys could you know see if you had any questions on yeah. or whatever see i haven't even looked at that yet gotcha i just finished the 6.5 homework and i just barely got through the finish line of that okay so um what we'll do is so we've done seven one i'll post this next class once again i'll open the floor for questions on anything and uh, see what you guys bring to the table, and then we'll discuss how we'll move from there and um, do it like that. Okay, I, I really hate to, I I feel like I'm holding people up, and I, I'm totally sorry about that. Oh, no, nah, you, uh, you good. Trust me, you're good. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> I'll say, you're good. And look, your classmates keep trying to let you know that you're not alone. <laughs> so I, you, you're good, man. You're all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. So um, I'll try to post that video tonight and post the test tonight. But whether I post the test tonight doesn't matter. The main thing is you got the review so that you can ask questions. So either way, you'll get that stuff within the next, you know, next day or so. Okay, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah, because I, I wanted to start the the review. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the previous, what was it, 6162, I think I'm okay with that. It was just 6-4 six, four, six, four and six six, five or six, seven, whatever it was. The last two was just. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll work. I'll work with you guys. Um, still in a good place as far as content is concerned. So. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, 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 yeah. that's what I was worried about. I, I didn't want to hold any, you or anybody else back. So. Oh no, you look good to go, sir. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, with that being said, I'll get that stuff out to you guys, hopefully by the end of the night. And uh, hit me up if you have any questions. If not, hold them for next class, and we'll go from there, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right, you guys have a good one, and I will see you on Thursday. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate not it. Not a problem. Take care. You too. Not a problem. Not a problem.